Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. You may remember last time I was supremely disappointed uh, by this town. Uh, forgotten its name already. Where are we? Uh, map. Spikemouth. I was supremely disappointed by Spikemouth because Spikemouth is not a town. Spikemouth is a corridor. Uh, and there's nothing to do here. You just you just walk to the end, and that that's it. That's the whole that's the whole area. And it's very bland. Uh, can I even talk to you? Oh, I can. I'm a huge fan of Piers. I really fancy seeing him in more matches. All right. At the end of the day, this place would be more lively if there were more gym challenges. Also, uh, shops and people and houses and um anything besides a corridor. <sighs> Can at least use your bicycle here once you've beaten the gym. You can't do that until you've beaten the gym challenge, but uh, you can't fly. Uh, I'll just demonstrate that. You cannot fly out of here because it's not really a town. It's really a corridor. We try to fly Amalok. You can't call a flying taxi to where you are now because this is not a town. This is a corridor. It looks really cool, but there's there's nothing here. It's just it's, it's just completely empty. <sighs> anyway, it's come to my attention because uh, Natalie was playing the same game and you know wasn't recording it, so she went a lot faster than I did. That we're actually quite close to the end at this point. If I bring up my uh, card here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're only, uh, one, two, five, six, yeah, we're only one, uh, gym badge away from having a complete badge. There's only one more gym left. So, we've nearly finished the game at this point. Uh, I happen to know that there's more obnoxiously unfinished stuff coming up. Uh, so I'm just gonna do my best to not get frustrated by it. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Uh, I've already ranted for a couple of minutes about uh, this place not having anything in it already, so... Uh, Spike Myth. Anyway, let's get going. So yeah, we want to go this way. Uh, we could just fly there, but we may as well just... What do you want? What's this? The earth is shaking. If I sway in the same way... Nope, not helping. Oh, a cop not helping. Really? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, whoa. Hello, everyone. Uh... Can I get through here? What's happening? Are you blocking off the path on purpose? What's going on? No, I can get through. There we go. Alright then. <laughs> oh, hi Hop. Danielle. This is mad, you know what I mean? Uh... Where's Leon? That's what I'd like to know. That noise, it was like some massive explosion. It was this huge surge of red light, and then wild Pokemon just started Dynamaxing around me. Brazen as you like. Alright. Take a look at the news. Yep, that's, a, that's me out. See, there's Lee. He really is the greatest, right? I guess. Speaking his Charizard took that down, that Dynamax Pokemon in the blink of an eye. Do, do you think this is something that maybe the player character might have wanted to participate in instead of hearing about? Hmm. I knew Lee was strong, but this <laughs> makes you appreciate how great he is, eh? Let's go meet up with him, Danielle. It should be at Hammerlock Stadium. I don't, I don't really care. But okay. <sighs> it's actually far to Hammerlock Stadium. Pretty much just cross this bridge. Oh, hello. I acknowledge your strength. Please indulge me in a contest of strength and wits. Alright. Gentleman Caden. Oh, I thought I thought he might actually throw his hat. That would have been cool. Because he was, you know, grabbing, grabbing the broom of his hat. That would have been neat. I don't know what I'm looking at. Is it like steel type? Uh, I'll try liquidation and see what happens. Okay, that wasn't ineffective. Uh, 
I don't know the types very well, I'm gonna be honest. I seem to be high enough level that it's no big deal, but... Not sure. Experience! Ulti guys. Uh, that's Ghost 5. Put against Ghost? Dark, I think. Hmm. Let's go back very sharply. I'll try it one more time. Yeah, that's right. Super effective. Cool. Forty-seven. As Passimian. That. What is that? Uh, some sort of monkey. Okay. I don't. I don't know what type it is. I see some vaguely grassy spots. Is it grass? Probably not, because it wasn't. Strong against where it is here. I don't know what I'm doing with Pokemon games. Oh my goodness. Well, we're getting through the battle anyway. I suppose that's all that really matters. There we go. Ah, oh, see? Exactly as I had thought. I got some money. Thanks, nerd. And here we are back in town. This is Motorstoke, I think? No, it's Hammerlock. Motorstoke is the one that's further south. I think. I'm gonna duck in here real quick. why they still haven't made this skippable in all these years. Like, that animation. You, you don't need to see it over and over. Hmm. And sparkling? Hello. Dire hit. I'll probably never use that, but nice to have, I guess. Over here! Well, if it isn't Danielle! I expect nothing less from you and your Charizard, Leon! You took down that Dynamax Pokémon in no time at all! Okay, a again, like, could the player have participated in this at all? <laughs> well, I am the unbeatable champion after all, but what all is going on here? Overflowing red light? Pokémon Dynamax and without a power spot? Yeah, but why? Not sure. What's going on? That red light could have suddenly appear again at any time. We have no way of knowing. But being able to predict such things is part of a scientist's work. Gran? The chairman called for me. He wanted to know all about the red light's relationship to the Dynamax phenomenon. Did the chairman know anything? Nothing worth my time. The chairman's all wrapped, wrapped up in fretting over the future of our energy, apparently. He's left everything to that ac executive lady. We just don't have enough data. That's why I wanted to ask you to start looking into things too, Sonya. You know more than anyone about the Darkest Day, after all. Are you saying that red light and the Darkest Day are connected? Hey, do you reckon there's anything we could do to help out? Yeah, there must be. Thanks, I appreciate the thought, but all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep your doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Right, of course, you're the unbeatable champion after all, eh? Brand, there's something I want to look into. You'll help me, right? Naturally. Off they go. 
Looks like we all know what we need to do. So, you two, clear the gym challenge so we can meet again at the Champion Cup. I know what I need to do, alright. Defeat that Piers once and for all. Go off to Hammerlock Stadium, yeah, Danielle? Raihan's a tough nut to crack. But why did you come all the way here if you need to go beat the gym back in Blackmouth? Alright. Well, I guess I'm going in here now. Hey, this is the final gym. Yeah, I, I, and I know. Uh... I think I'm probably equipped to continue. We'll see how we go. Raihan is just too strong. Does anyone stand a chance? Some Pokemon are affected by weather changes, right? I guess I could have my Pokemon change the weather right back. There's a lift, but it seems you can't use it right now. I'm trying to talk to the person in front of it. Sorry, only authorized personnel allowed to take the lift down to the power plant. What's going on with your hair? It's got these, like, little... ...wacky outfits at the end? That's... that looks neat. I like it. Grass types do tend to be easily influenced by changes in the weather. Can I see you from the front? I can. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> I use Steel-type Pokémon. They can ignore sandstorms completely, but I still can't beat Raihan. Oh no, are there going to be sandstorms? That sounds so annoying. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Oh, you're not going to give me one? Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Spacer's Choice. Hello. Uniform shop. No, I think I'm mostly good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Is this just a regular Pokemon? This is all normal stuff. What are you talking about? Hey, Danielle, show us what you can do. Okay. Here I go. Yeah! <laughs> How was that? I didn't seem to have noticed. I can't wait, Raihan's match is coming out. Reserve. All's left is the final gym. You can do it, Challenger Danielle. I sure can. Hey, the long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. You ready to face Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the dragon user Raihan? You bet I am. In that case, please use the changing room to change into your uniform. Why? I've never understood this part, like... Why do you need to wear a uniform to do all these challenges? Uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. What's the, what's the point? Like, couldn't you just wear your normal clothes? Now head to where all the gym trainers await. No, not the stadium, but the vault. What? I don't know where the vault is. I assume the game will automatically take me there, because I, I don't know where it is. I guess it's loading. Okay, here we go. Let's see, how many gym challenges are left? Huh, not even 10, eh? All right then. Danielle, time to explain the great Raihan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. Gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challenges you can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokémon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian. You'll be first. Uh, okay. Hi, Sebastian. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, that Dragon Times are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. I believe uh, this gym is based around the weather changing a lot. You're challenged by gym trainer Sebastian. I like your glasses. Colifer and Sligu. Go, Cynthia and Gareth. Colifer's Drizzle. I mean, I have a fire type out, so the rain isn't great, but... Uh, 
Let's have a quick look here. Okay, I can attack the Sligu. Let's use a... a snipe shot. And crunch. I don't know what, what type Sligu is. Poison, maybe? Okay, water's not very effective. Against whatever it is. And spell. Hailwind? What does that do? Uh. Something. Okay, I guess Sligo is water type, maybe? I don't know. Taking advantage of the fact that it's raining, she's a lot more water type moves. Uh, let me see. I want to send out someone. Electric sounds good. makes it rain, right? Yeah. Honestly, I don't think that's that useful. <laughs> like, I know it powers up water-type moves, but I've already got, like, really good water-type moves to begin with. And I don't think I want to waste a slot to lose one of my other type advantages. I'm already low on PP as it is. I think I can learn it later anyway, so I might think about it. Doubles. It's a lot to think about with them. It makes them difficult, but fun too. Get some money. You can see why you've managed to make it this far. Am I allowed to know what the next team member is going to use, or is it like a secret? Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camilla. Hi, Camilla. Did you know your identical twin is over there? Okay, I think I'm allowed to go in and like heal and stuff before I actually challenge them. Do I want to? Hmm. I'm leaning towards just swapping Charles into second position so that that's who goes out. But I don't know what types to be expecting, so let's see how we go. In double battles, it's important to figure out which role each your opponent's Pokémon play. Yeah, you're not wrong. I like your glasses. That's cute. Nine Tails and T Turdinator. Are they both fire type? But they look fiery. Like Nine Tails is definitely fire type. I don't know about the other one. A shell trap? I don't know what that means. It does a lot of damage to the person who just attacked, I guess? A will o -wisp. That's at someone fire, but it missed, so it doesn't matter.
Alright then. Goodbye, Nine Tails. That was pretty straightforward. Weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. I've got some money. Fantastic. You can see those seven badges you have were well earned. Thank you. Made to the third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Aria. You know you look identical to Camilla, right? Like, you look like the same person. Like, completely the same. <laughs> uh, let me just... Do a little bit of that. There we go. In we go. A double battle. You combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through, would you have one of them support the other? Yes. You do both of those things. Let me see what your strategy is. You're challenged by Gym Trainer Aria. Sent out a Bomber Snow and ha Hacker. Ha Hacker Something like that? No warning. Okay, that makes it snow. Oh no, it makes it hail. Oh, I hate hail. Okay, um... I guess I'll try attacking Hakamo. They, they look like uh, stone or something, so that might work. And a bomb of snow. We'll see what happens. I, I don't really know what to expect. Not very effective. What type is that? Hmm... Noble Roar? What type are you? Attack Fell? Special Attack Fell? Aurora Veil. Strong against physical and special moves. That's like all the types of moves. That's concerning. Um... Okay, let's try swapping you out for a fire type. Uh... That's probably the best choice. Oh. Oh well. I have no idea what type that thing is. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. Mm. Oh, Natalie. Ah, oh, Big Squirrel. Brick Break, are they fighting type? I didn't do much damage at all. I don't know what type of anything type anything is in this game. Try that, I guess. That's not bad. Okay, that's not very effective either.
Did I buy it already? Dark type move? I don't think I did. Either. What type is this thing? Huh? Alright, electric already? I don't remember. Effective. Well, fight's over, I think. So, so well. Operation between trainers and their Pokemon just brings out their strength even more. If you say so. I was just kind of flailing there. Well done. I'm honored to have battled against such a talented trainer. If you say so. Nice one, Daniel. You completed my gym mission. Come on, time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Um, so your challenge was just me standing in a room and talking to three of your trainers? Like, alright. <sighs> okay, I assume I'm gonna want, uh, Cynthia in the first space, yeah. Let me just, I uh, check a couple of potions on everyone first. I'm using the smaller potions because there's no limit on how many items I use at a time. Since I'm not in a battle, so I can just keep doing this. Uh, I probably wouldn't use the like basic potion otherwise because it's so terrible. Do I bother with a revive? Hmm. Just gonna have to see how we go, I think. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from Pokemon trainers that Leon saw promise in. And you aim to defeat Leon. Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks two-on-two -two battles. Must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Is this still a double battle? I don't- I don't really know what's gonna happen. You're challenged by gym leader Raihan. Yeah, it is- a, it is still a two- two, uh, two Pokemon battle. Okay, we've got Flygon and Gigalith. I don't know what Gigalith is. I have- don't know that one. Sandstream. It makes a sandstorm brew up. Maybe I should have gotten the make it rain thing. Let the winds blow. Stream forth, sand stream. Alright. Uh, okay, well, it looks like it's a rock, so I guess I'll try liquidation and see what happens. That was alright damage. It's not super effective or anything, but it was good. Okay, that was super effective. So Gigalith is a rock. I don't know what that was. It's my attack fall.
I think the frame rate's having a little trouble, which is a bit awkward. The Switch should be more incapable of doing this. Okay, Gigalith is gone. How many Pokemon are we working with here? Bada ba dum. Thunder Punch. Uh, that's not that's not what I like to see. Anaconda. All right then. Oh, Wild Shift doesn't work on Flygon? Why? Well, it's gone. It's gone now anyway, so... <sighs> okay, we'll switch out something else. Uh... I guess Santa Conda is probably ground type? Okay, is that thing steel type? I... I'm just guessing. Bring the storm, my partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. Oh, he's he's uh, the, the big bigger maxing. Okay. Oh, I was Dur Duraludon in his last Pokemon. I didn't think we were that far yet. Was it like fighting type or? Send out uh, these two because they're at full health, and I can replenish some stuff while they're out there. We. Oh, these are the last two. Okay, well, that makes more sense. Yeah, oh that's cool. <laughs> oh wow, that that did better than I was expecting. <laughs> okay then. Just kind of turn turned the tide of the battle in a millisecond there. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me see, you're paralyzed. You just try to bite. Uh, let's just try to bite for now. Oh, and spit? Oh no. 
Winds rise again, stream forth, Sandstorm. Does Stealthrock ever go away, or is it a permanent thing? I'm thinking I just want to switch to Cynthia and then, like, Dynamax. Dynamax her so she can wipe everything out. Super effective, that should be enough to take it out, right? Might take a few turns, but that's not really a problem because Dynamaxing lasts three turns. There you go. It's super effective. Okay, so something that's weak to water? Uh, to rain. Wait, why did the sandstorm come back after it was already fainting? How does this sand spit move work? Super Fang. Probably with Super Fang. Thumps hard on the target with the sharp front fangs. This cuts the target's HP in half? That sounds really cool. Uh, I'm going to replace Covet because that sounds really cool. Well, oh, because I won the fight. I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. Maybe you should. <laughs> In the aftermath of the furious battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems like growing quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. Proof of your victory, the Dragon Badge. Well... I got it. Thanks. You now catch Pokemon of any level. Oh right, this annoyed me. For some reason, instead of just, you know, if you catch a Pokemon that's too high level- like, sorry, sorry, if you trade a Pokemon that's too high level, it might not obey you. If you haven't got all the right badges, which is how it worked in early Pokemon games. In this one, you literally cannot catch them at all. You can't even throw a Pokeball at them if they're too high level. Unless you have all the badges. It's just... Why? <sighs> you collected all the gym badges from the Galar region. Now win your way through the semi-finals and finals your chance to challenge a Leon. You must. You owe us that much at least for beating us in battle here today. Collected all of the gym badges. At last, it's time for the Champion Cup. Look forward to seeing how you all do in battle. Hey, Danielle. Sorry to hold you up. There was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of my respect, here, TM99. It contains the move Breaking Swipe. I did, you did use that once in the battle. What does it do? It brings its tough tail wildly and attacks opposing Pokémon. It also lowers their attack stats. That's alright, I guess. And secondly, here's the dragon-type gym uniform, the mark of true strength. Okay, I don't, I don't want it. Number 42, challenge Danielle. You completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. Raihan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. 
I've tried out lots of different strategies and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you and Danielle and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Danielle. Let's have another epic battle someday. Building up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. I believe the reason he says that, uh, because the end of the game is really rushed, um, there's going to be like a big level spike as we head into the final stuff. Uh, especially like the last, like the, the, the chat, like the champion, the champion himself, uh, when we take on Lee and stuff like that, there's a big spike in levels. So we need to level up a bit more. Uh, but for now, we are pretty much done. Uh, we're just gonna make our way to the Pokemon Center real quick. Oh, cutscenes, right. I remember those. Hey there, Danielle. You gave Raihan a good thrashing and that means you completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really should go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should talk over. That light that covered Hammerlock. It's just like the darkest day where it said that giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. We still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, I'm not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The legendary Sword and Shield. Whoa, it's because it's called Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, get it? Don't you, my dearest. My lab coat is yours now. <laughs> Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of, it as, think of this as something to help you finish that work. Oh, she's adorable. Y yeah! Two heroes that protected the Galar region from the darkest day. The legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You or Hulk could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden. Go on, head to the station or you miss your train. I mean, I will, but... Hang on. There are things only young people like you can do, and there are other things that should be left to the adults. Everyone has their own role. Station's here Route 7, remember? Now off with you, Gym Challenger. Okay, I'm gonna go to this Pokemon Center. But yeah, I guess Sonya had a character arc where she gets the lab coat. I, I don't know if they were meant to develop that beforehand, where she like w wanted to li live up to her grand's... I, I don't know. It just sort of came out of nowhere. Uh, yes. Thank you. I feel bad for saying this, but I just love watching Raihan lose to Leon. The way he shows his frustration is electrifying. Wow. <laughs> Don't let him hear you say that. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't sell ethers and elixirs in shops. Apparently this is just a normal thing in Pokemon. Like, I hadn't noticed before because usually you don't need to do the... Like, the gym challenge and the actual gym leader in the same go. Um... So I would, you know, just leave and heal between each trainer if I, if I was worried about running out of PP, but... Yeah, they, they don't sell ethers and elixirs even though they could and there's no real reason not to. They just don't. <laughs> it's not unique to this game. Uh, it's weird though. Uh, I don't get it. Anyway, uh, that's more or less all for this video because we have uh, completed the Hammerlock Gym. And with that, if we have a look at our League card, uh, you can see we have the entire medal there in the corner. There it is. It's beautiful. As it slowly revolves. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, we'll be heading to Winden and moving into the end game, Taking on this game's version of the Elite Four, basically. It's, it's a bit different. It's not great. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Um, 
But yeah, we've we've finished the final gym, so that's cool. It was in that big castle over there. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. I'm still waving even though the camera's not on. So, bye. <laughs>